Hello everyone, it is Sunday. Um, today I solved my second leak code problem, finding the index of the first occurrence in a string. So we have this solution, and we have my boneheaded solution. I wonder which you prefer. Personally, I like this solution. So the index of function is going to return the index of the needle. So let's let's see what that would look like. Um, we have sad, but sad, sad, not sad, but true, sad, sad. Okay. So this is haystack, and we're gonna say first is equal to haystack dot index of needle. Needle is sad. So, um, if we check for the index of sad in sad but sad, then it will return zero, okay? And if it doesn't find it, the computer will automatically, automagically return negative one. And that's why we can submit three lines of code and have our problem accepted. So let's trace the execution of this stuff to sad, but sad. Yeah, so this example comes from leak code, um, of course. So. so sad but sad is our haystack, and sad is our needle. So the first thing we do is we check if um, haystack dot length is less than needle dot length we return negative one basically we're saying if one two three four five six seven eight nine if nine if nine is less than three return negative one okay but it's not Nine is not less than three, so we continue. Um, for let i equal zero, i is less than or equal to nine minus three, zero plus one. Okay. So I will be one next time we come around. So substring creates a shallow copy based on the haystack. So we're gonna create a substring from haystack. So haystack is this. And so here's our start index, i, which is currently zero, which is the first index, so that's good and then i plus needle dot length, which we know is uh, three. So zero plus three. Um, up here, we have our indexes, and we're returning a substring. The substring function takes a range from the start index to an end index. However, the substring function excludes the end index. So what do I mean by the substring excludes the end index? Well, let's take a look at this documentation. Here we have the substring method of the data type string. So for example, we have Mozilla and we can see I can go ahead and write the indexes of the individual letters okay the thing we want to understand is that the start index is inclusive and the end index is exclusive basically this creates a substring so substring of 0 to 0 plus 3. Exclusive. Inclusive of the first index. Exclusive of the last one. So now we have K 
captured this as our substring. And we know that needle, we already have needle. We know needle is sad because needle is a string. It's hard to be a string. And so we check if if this if it is equal to our needle. So we're asking are the characters in this memory space equal to the characters in our needle? And if they are, then we can return the current index which would be equivalent to the start index. So today I solved my second leak code problem. Um, progress is good. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you for tuning in.